Hi crafty friends, this is Amanda. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Michigan. Thanks for taking a few moments out of your day to share it with me. I really appreciate it. This is my 17th video and I don't know how many, I don't know how many videos we are on that are Christmas cards, but since it's the Christmas season, I guess that's what we need to be doing. I am stamping the gorgeous posies, it's posy I guess, this flower from the Gorgeous Posies stamp set on some masking paper. You might have missed this stamp set. It's on page eight of the annual catalog and it actually goes with a really cute looking kit. But you know, the kits for A2 size cards and since I don't do very many A2 size cards, it just it wouldn't make sense for me to grab. So. Instead, I really liked this stamp set and I wanted to use it and I've actually been trying to use it now for about four weeks, but uh, I just stamped it in purple. I didn't like it and then uh, while I was away in Phoenix, I had brought only the green mossy meadow with me and I did not like red with mossy meadow. So, hmm, yeah, but finally I'm getting this card on film and to you guys so like I said I'm I took the um the posy and stamped it on some masking paper in real red I mean I guess you could stamp it in whatever you really don't need the stamparatus for this but you will need it in just a second and then I'm going to stamp two posies on some very vanilla cardstock and I used the very vanilla instead of the whisper white because it just was it so stark then? I don't know. When I used the Whisper White, it was just way too white. I mean, I know that sounds silly, but it was just the um, very vanilla looks so much better. So I'm going to stamp these and then I'm going to make sure that I twist them and turn the stamp so that they're not exactly the same. So in the lower right and the upper left. And I also tried um, not using a mask when doing the uh, leaves and I didn't like that so then I tried the mask and just with an acrylic block stamping the leaves and then it left this halo so I'm sure I'll show you this in just a second let me get this mask on here and I'm gonna stamp these leaves from the same set in um, old olive and I think old olive is the perfect color to go with this and I'm just you know eyeballing where I guess my leaves would be uh, while I'm doing this my husband is chit-chatting with me I'm home from Phoenix about two days at this point and he's chit-chatting with me and I'm trying to do two things at once and you know, I lost that ability when I had kids. But you're going to be able to see there's this halo around the posy um, where the ink doesn't get because the mask is a little bit thicker, you know, because it's on top. And so the ink's not getting right next to the old olive is not getting next to the, po the posy. So uh, I found the Stamparatus is easiest to do this. And then you can open and shut the separatus several times, not necessarily inking it up, but trying to transfer some of that ink that is close to the flower. Now, I'm not really happy necessarily that I put so much of this uh, leaf underneath the flower, but this is my favorite pass part, taking off the mask. But yeah, and I definitely do not like it with the leaf on top of the flower, even though it's a it's a very loose representation of a leaf. I I do like it masked off. But anyways, my husband was chit-chatting with me and I was like, I can't do two things at once. So several times in this video, I had to I had to edit out where I just sat there and listened to him and not actually craft it, which was kind of funny because, you know, beforehand I could do like 17 things at once. And now, now that I have kids and um, have this pain disorder, man, I'm lucky if I can do one thing at once. Uh, I think you might know that I was in Phoenix for two things. I um, helped a friend while recover while she had hip surgery, and then I had some uh, 
I had a trigger point injection and some nerve blocks that I had, um, you know, I had surgery for uh, on the 30th of November, and I just got home on the 9th. Took a little bit of time to recover. This time normally doesn't take that long, but took me a good amount of time to recover. So I know this doesn't look very like anything right now, but it will in just a second. Um, but I'm not necessarily happy to be home because I came home to some snow, but I'm happy to see my family and my my four-legged um, four fur babies. I mean, I guess I'm happy to see my kids too, you know. I, I am. I, I'm just joking. I do. I, I enjoyed um, coming home and seeing my kiddos and my family. Uh, they missed me because apparently nothing got done while I was away. I'm stamping up the You Are Wonderful from the Root, Root, root of Nature, Nature of Root, Root of, oh my goodness, I just had this on the tip of my tongue, Root of Nature. That doesn't really sound right, but it's the stamp set. I will put it down below um, in the description. And I thought, for a thank you card, this works out so wonderful. You are wonderful. But this could also be a birthday card, or you could change up the saying to be a Christmas card. Because I wanted this card to be as Christmasy, Christmassy as it could be without being overly Christmassy. This is a die from Hippo and Friends that I use all the time. I love this, um, the dies that come in here. But... Yeah, so the red and the green play on Christmas, so you could do a, a thank you, you could do a um, happy holidays. It's not, they're not a poinsettia, so that works out. They're not snowmen. It's something a little bit different. Posies, red posies, Christmas posies, I guess. And I did need some thank you cards, and so I thought I'd make it like this, because, you know, normally I'd make an A7 card. So if not, maybe I will try to make an A7 card with these posies, but... I really wanted to get these posies on paper because they're so cute. And I just don't think it's done at this point. I'm popping this up, but I don't think it's done. It needs a little bit of something extra here. I have another two surgeries coming up uh, on the 14th and on the 21st. I have a neurostimulator in my back to help me with some of my pain, but it needs to get changed out and they're going to fix a couple leads and everything. So. We'll see. Hopefully that'll go smoothly for tomorrow. I wanted to get this done before my surgery tomorrow. So hopefully I can get a few more um, videos in here before Christmas. My goodness. Um, it feels like I'm swimming upstream trying to get these Christmas cards done uh, with all these surgeries. Now I want to do the inside of my card. And for that, I'm... I'm pretty, I'm, I'm like a creature of habit. I do this, you know, I like my lower left hand side is where I put my element and I always like it stamped off, you know, so it's only part of the way, but you'll see I always do the same thing with, with the stamp sets. Maybe I'll try to mix it up and do something different. Now, these are the little dots for the inside of the posies, but I just think there's way too many. I don't like how many there are on this stamp, so that's why I even stamped off that, but yeah. And then you could put anything inside. Like I said, this would be a great Christmas card, something simple and easy that's not too Christmassy. Does that make sense? Just a little bit Christmassy. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you for your thoughts and prayers and helping me get through my surgeries and you guys are wonderful if you could take a few minutes to like and subscribe i'd appreciate it as well i did want to show you that in the poinsettia place poinsettia petals there's a um saying that says thank you for making this season wonderful and i thought that would be a perfect card perfect sentiment for this card as well you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend and enjoy your week and i will see you in the next video with three or four more Christmas cards. I have about eight of them that I want to show you guys, so I'm really excited. Talk to you guys later.